Ousted Speaker Kevin McCarthy announced he's leaving Congress at the end of the year. <laughs> Don't talk so fast. Not so fast. And had the nerve to make a farewell message about his time in office. Take a, take a look. While well, I'll be departing the House at the end of this year, I will never, ever give up fighting for this country that I love so much. When the stakes were the highest, we rose to the challenge. We were willing to risk it all, no matter the odds, no matter the personal cost. Simply put, we did the right thing. Now you're doing the right thing, like quitting. I'm just trying to figure out what you think you actually did. It took you had, what, 19 tries to get the job. 15. And 15 jobs. And then you got the job, and I know I'm still not sure what the hell you did while you were there. What are you doing? And, Goodbye, though. But you know, people are clapping because he's leaving, but it started with Paul Ryan, right? And then we got Kevin McCarthy, and now we have this John other Boehner, guy. John Boehner, actually, John first. Boehner. John Boehner. Boehner. No, it's getting... I mean, they've gotten progressively worse. That's the problem. This guy Mike that they have Johnson. now is one of these, you know what he wants to do with the January 6th footage? He wants to blur out their faces so that the public cannot see who the perpetrator well, is. It's kind of late now. We all know who it is. We got <laughs> people. No, he's got more footage. He has other footage. He may have too. more footage, but you know what? That none of this is gonna you know, these these tactics are just not gonna work. People have they've had it up to here with this. They've seen people do things that we've been told our entire lives in this country that you can't do. Sedition is against the law. So you can blur as much as you want to, but they're not, we're not falling for it. But I'm not look, stupid. I have a question, though. Like, for him? <laughs> She's got well, a question for, for you, him. Kev. Not for, not for him, because uh, I, I've been, as we were discussing, I've been listening to Liz Cheney's book, mm -hmm. which everyone should listen to. Mm -hmm. And she basically says she went into his office on January 6th, and he said, I'm going to go out there, and I'm going to denounce this, and I'm going to, you know, make this right. And then she leaves his office, and his counsel, I think, or someone's sitting outside, and, and she says, he didn't say that to Jim Jordan, no. who he just did the exact out. opposite. He's, and he did the exact opposite yeah. of what he told Liz Cheney yeah. he was going to do. So he's a liar. So he's I don't have liar. questions for him. Okay. But my question is for you, Alyssa. Like, I, I just wonder, I know that Gavin Newsom now has the ability to call the special election. He can call it in early 2024, but he doesn't necessarily have to do that, right? In California. He doesn't necessarily have to do that. And so that means that the balance in Congress like changes votes. just a well, little bit. Well, even so, because I think he probably will call the special election next but, year. But maybe later in the That's possible, March. but even so, Kevin McCarthy is petty. He wants to make Mike Johnson's life harder. So by him stepping down, that gives him only two vo votes to get anything by, because he wants people to miss him. He wants them to be like, yes, it was better under Kevin. But can I say one thing? Sure. Picture an alternate universe. Kevin McCarthy actually stays by what he said after January 6th. I'm done with Trump. He never goes to Mar-a-Lago and oh, panhandles. Yeah. The GOP moves on. We don't dabble in election denialism. We don't dabble in January 6th revisionist his universe. history. We, we would end up having a red wave. He'd be a popular speaker, and we'd actually be serving the American public. But none of that happened, and here we are. Yeah. Because he groveled to those other losers, and this is what he got. He yeah, got kicked out, Yeah, but on the case of George basically. Santos being expelled, this was, like, the biggest middle finger to the Republicans. Like, the fact that he just ousted himself. It was right. like, peace. And, like, that's a two-vote. They're going to have to do everything and bipartisan. And it may be a one-vote, because we now know that with Santos out, there is going to be a special election. Mm -hmm. And the Democrat, Swazi, I think, yeah. uh, is... Is looking pretty good. Yeah, but so he now should maybe the one vote majority. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see My what she does. Robert Zimmerman we'll should have that spot. <laughs> well, you know, I'm his own personal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, if you know whoever wants that spot, you got to do all the stuff you're supposed to do to get that spot. You want the spot, run for it. Yeah. Make us understand why you are the right person. Just one step. Yes, thing. yes. I think as a lesson to ch kids watching this, th what's going on. That man was on his knees kissing the butt of Matt Gates, Marjorie Taylor Greene. He was yeah. kissing their butt, right. and now right. he's out. There's a lesson to be learned. Do not get on your knees to these people. Have a moral compass. Right. And do <laughs> like what's Liz really Cheney. right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let this one go. 